Hey, air signs. We're just going to pull the card, see what pops out. We're going to do a little um, love reading, but you can also take it how it resonates for you. You have clean it up for your past, a leg up for your current, and you have higher power for your future. I feel like things are picking up pace. I feel like um, recently you guys have like gotten rid of a lot of things that were just not you know, working for you, things that were not in your favor, okay? You do have Unfinished Symphony here. So obviously we're going to have to clarify that. But I do feel like you guys have been doing a lot of work on yourself and your life. Um, just, <clears throat> let's see. Let's clarify this. The Chariot and the Queen of Pentacles. You guys have been making a lot more grounded decisions lately. And you are picking up pace here. Like things could have been really, really slow. Maybe things were kind of stagnant for a while. But like I feel like there's a lot of forward movement. I don't really see you guys going back. I do see the unfinished symphony. So something from the past hasn't been finalized. Or something from the past may kind of resurface. Okay. I feel like a lot of you guys have been, you know, um, taking care of yourself. In all the right ways. Really focused on your work. On your career. There was a faded event that recently happened. Okay. With the chariot card. Let's see. The queen of cups. And the emperor. You took action on something. Aries and cancer energy here. You took action. You were listening to your intuition. You're listening to your heart more. You guys have been spending a lot of time with yourself. Nurturing yourself. Trying to do better. I feel like you're really focused on your happiness. Whatever makes you happy, that's where you guys are headed, right? So let's see. A leg up for your current energy. <clears throat> this just flew in reverse. The Eight of Swords. That's a good thing. You guys are getting out of your head. You guys are releasing a lot of fears. You're letting go of what people say to you. Like, oh, no, you can't do this. Or blah, blah, blah. Like, you are not really listening to other people. If it's not benefiting you, you're doing what you want to do. Right? You're listening to yourself now. You're facing your fears head on. I feel like with the leg up, like, you know, you're helping yourself get out of a really difficult situation. You might not even be getting, like, help from other people. This may just be, like, you and your angels and your spirit team. And the Seven of Pentacles, there's so much progress. You guys have been watering whatever seeds that you guys had planted. And now you're starting to see, like, um rewards or you're getting rewarded for this okay there's a lot of growth here you guys are very very strong whatever it is that has been in the past for you i don't even see it affecting you anymore like you guys literally completely healed like you're in this new zone this new energy to where it's like like let's go let's go let's move forward you know like i feel like the past no longer weighs you down it's over and done with the King of Cups. So yeah, the King and the Queen of Cups here. I feel like you guys are learning how to hold your composure more. Not letting your emotions get in the way of your decisions. Like let's say if you're in a relationship with somebody who is very toxic for you. But you love them so much so you can't let them go. That's no longer a thing anymore. You love yourself enough to where it's like you will walk away from people if they can't do you right regardless of how much you love them regardless if it's your mom or your dad or your sister or your cousins or whoever it is right it's like you're putting yourself first now the knight of wands you're very very like confident now very you have a lot of energy behind you i feel like there's just just complete forward movement here things are feeling really good all your hard work has been paying off and i just feel like you guys are very proud of your yourself for where you've um what you've accomplished the higher power with the page of wands there's a new beginning coming in for you you're very confident about this fearless again like there is no fear there's no fear in your mind whatsoever nothing is holding you guys back the tower <clears throat> you fearless of the tower fearless of like if something needs to leave my life or like like let's say you guys are dating somebody and maybe you had abandonment issues so you were worried about people leaving you're no longer worried about this. You're like, you know what? If the tower is going to fall, let it fall. And I'll figure out what to do next. It's You're very, very strong here. I'm surprised I don't see the strength card. But um, yeah, the Knight of Cups. You know that you guys are being led in, a, in the right direction. All right? I just feel like you guys are following your hearts. You guys are becoming more sensitive to other people and um, their energies. 
You guys are very, very psychic too. Very intuitive. A lot of intuition cards here. And the Knight of Pentacles. You got three knights all right here. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. The only one that I don't see is the Knight of Swords. So you're not in a rush for anything. You're kind of just going with the flow. You're no longer angry. You're not carrying all this anger within you anymore. I just feel like you guys have done so much work. You should be proud of yourself. You know, you're learning patience. You're following your heart. And, and it's like you know that something needed to fall apart in order to be able to build something somewhere else, right? <clears throat> or in order to build again on stronger ground. You've learned from your past. Now this unfinished symphony, the high priestess, you feel this coming. You know exactly what this is. There's something that hasn't completely closed out yet. There's more to this story. The seven of wands. And the world. <clears throat> There's a new chapter beginning. And I feel like you feel it. But it's going to come unexpectedly. I do feel like you may have your walls up. Or ready to fight. Or just very protective over your energy. You're very very protective over your energy here. And your hearts. The four of pentacles. Something from the past is coming back. Okay. And. I'm going to clarify the four of pentacles. This could be somebody that you're like holding a grudge on or somebody that you kind of hold close to your heart. And in your mind, you have the hermit. And you have the ten of pentacles. There is an opportunity for things to change. Okay? In more of a positive way. In more of like a long-term, you know, um stability type thing like there could be a connection or let's say like a job from the past that resurfaces or an old friendship that like now you guys have a chance to try this again in a different way all right i feel like you're coming back to each other heal um able to tap into like the deeper parts of yourself now Whoever or whatever this is that's coming back around is not the same that it was in the past. Okay? It's a complete change. There's an opportunity for long-term commitment, long-term investments, stability, building a future, fortune, wealth. And you have the King of Wands. You are going to know exactly what to do here. The King of Wands is a planner, somebody that is the leader, the one that, you know, makes the decisions. You have Taurus, Virgo cancer and the star you're headed in a positive direction if you give this another chance there's a chance to rejuvenate something and bring something back to life in a positive way okay i feel like you have made a lot of changes in your life you're at a point in time to where you're very happy and so the things that you are manifesting in is also on the same vibrational level that you are on this is also somebody that's coming in on with like, if it's a person, the Eight of Swords in Reverse, this person knows exactly what they want. They're also not stuck in their head. They're on the same frequency as you, and that's why they're able to come back in. Okay? The Outcome, the Two of Swords, the Nine of Swords. I don't know. You guys are going to have a hard time making a decision like, should I do this again? Do I want to have to go through this again? That's up to you, right? The Queen of Swords. You trust yourself that you are making the right decision if you decide to walk away from this or if you decide to stick this out and see what's going on. You're strong enough to handle whatever gets thrown your way. All right. When this comes back around, you guys might have a hard time sleeping. Some of you guys have been really feeling that this is coming in and you're, it's just come, it's, your intuition is telling you that this is coming in so this way you can get yourself prepared. Okay. The five of wands. Some of you guys may not take too kindly to this person coming back. All right. I feel like it's it just brings back old feelings. Maybe that you've tried to get rid of. Uh, maybe not get rid of. But like you've healed from. You've worked on this. And it's like now it's just coming back around. And the spirit's like, well, what are you going to do about it? Right. So let's just get guidance. Because the outcome, the three of pentacles. The Three of Cups and the Seven of Swords. I have to clarify the Seven of Swords. The Four of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Take your time to think about things. 
don't like ignore this person. Just take like you don't have to answer them right right away when they message you. Take some time and really think about it. Make sure this is something that your heart and your head are aligned together with. Like something that you truly want. You have the three of pentacles and the three of cups. I feel like you guys are both coming back happy. Maybe this can start off as like a friendship. Okay, like maybe you're not going to jump into a relationship right away. It's like dating, hanging out, spending more time together, talking on the phone, doing fun things together, you know, just building that bond again and kind of getting a chance to get to re-know each other, right? Because I feel like you've done a lot of change. You're not the same person that you used to be. And this person as well is not the same as they used to be, okay? So you guys literally like the universe is bringing you both together here all right so anyway if this resonates please like and subscribe and i hope you have a good day okay see ya